everyone welcome back to gomes tech talks channel in this video i am going to discuss about if condition in business central which is conditional statement in business central so before proceeding with the concept let us understand what and when to use if condition okay so there are few uh, important thing where we have to go with the if condition that is first one is if you wanted to perform any uh, any logic any action action based on the user input okay if you want to perform any action based on the user input you can go ahead with if condition if you want to validate the input then you can go with if condition if you wanted to handle the error okay error handling you can go with if condition or if you wanted to implement uh, the branching logic uh, or if you wanted to just alter the path in the code okay uh, branching logic or alter the path um, code then you can go ahead with if so in this this two thing may look uh, similar but it performs a different one okay let me just explain what is validating and handling errors so if you take about validating uh, so validation means what if uh, let us take an example like you have to enter the salary field okay in the page and uh, uh, you wanted to validate that the salary should not be less than 10000 okay so this is the basic minimum salary of the particular organization then it should not be less than 10000 even you can take if it is an age okay if someone is joining the company or if you are creating any uh, account so the account you should be at least 18 years to create an account so it should not be less than 18 okay so that is what validation okay you are validating the field that is it should not be less than some particular um, particular number or greater than some particular number so based on this you are going to save the data so this is what validation whereas uh, error handling means what basically uh, in every programming language we have two types of error one is a syntax error and second one is the um, so syntax error we can even call it as a com uh, compile time error okay so and next one is the runtime error so syntax error will be automatically we can easily see what is a syntax error i'll show you what is a syntax error and uh, runtime error this is the uh, human error which we are uh, living without knowing for example 25 divided by 0 okay so any number which is divided by 0 is basically an error okay this cannot be happened so that is what the error this is not a syntax error this is syntactically correct but if you just um, do this this will give you some wrong and output so this is what error handling okay so these two things are different okay so um these are uh, conditional statement and this in this uh, in this particular video we will look about if condition so in if we have uh, three we can use if in three ways like with either using if then only if and then okay it should be like if block if some condition you can write the condition if this condition satisfies then some statement should happen okay this is what if statement okay the second one is if else if then else so what happens if this condition happens then the statement one should happen else the next, next another statement should happen okay if this condition is not satisfied then this statement will execute and finally the last one is the nested if okay so multiple if statement like you can write if something if another one if another one, another thing so else else block finally ending there so this is what multiple if statement okay that is what nested if statement so we are going to see um, the three types three statement that is three conditional uh, three ways to use the if condition in this particular video so let us just uh, uh, or let us just start writing it okay so I'm just going to create a page it's a very simple page so I'm just going to create it um, and I'm just going to name it as conditional statements okay and I'm not going to use any source table so I'm just in, um, 
commenting it and I'm creating a card page here. What I'm going to do is what I'm going to create a de uh, declare the global variable uh, like salary, which is probably like um, decimal. I'm just going to declare it as a decimal and I'm also getting the age, which should be in the integer. Okay, so I'm just uh, I have just declared two things. Okay, and um, also for just for um, um, total sales. Okay, so uh, purchase. I'm just creating one more uh, thing called total, and this should be the decimal. Okay, so now we are going to just use this. Okay, uh, and I'm just going to use, first I'm going to show you the example for simple if statement. So I'm just going to get the salary. Let the application area all should be there, and I'm just going to use the trigger, and I'm just going to use the validate on validate trigger. So don't worry about the other triggers. I'll be explaining about all the triggers in the upcoming video. So don't worry about it. And what is this variable? Okay, so we have already saw one variable under that. So this is called we call it as a local variable, which you can if you wanted to just use created and destroyed. If you wanted to use this. Within this particular field, then you can create that local variable inside that particular field or the trigger. And if you wanted that variable to be available throughout your code, then you have to declare it as a global variable. Okay, so let us just proceed. Let us just delete this because I don't want this. Okay, so I'm going to write a simple statement like if salary or if age. Um, Fine. If salary is greater than ten thousand, uh, then okay. Then what I have to do is what salary. Okay, so if it is less than ten thousand, I have to leave the error message. M E S S A G. So this is the error message. Um. Oops. You entered wrong salary okay so this is the error message okay uh, so what happens here uh, here it is showing that it will sorry let us make it as an error so this will display an error okay so here let us just save this okay and let us just execute it so it's a very simple if condition I have written here so if is a keyword this is a condition basically salary is less than 10,000 if this condition is true okay then it will display an error that we have entered the wrong salary so let me just save this and execute this to see what is the output for this particular uh, block so we have used a very simple if without any else statement so probably it will uh, give you the um, uh, error message if you have entered if you are entering the salary which is less than 10,000 so you can see here that if I enter 5,000 it will show you an error okay you oops you entered the wrong salary so this is what the message which I have added here you oops, oops you have entered the wrong salary and what happens and once if it if i enter the correct salary it will not be saved okay until i enter the correct salary if i enter ten thousand, then the error message will go off and it will be saved here so let us try this with with else part okay so here i have just mentioned like so it's a very simple like i can just add an else statement here and i can add one more thing like message good to go okay so this is what uh, see it's showing an error this is what the syntax error okay it will show in a red color underline so what is the error is all about so let us see like it is showing that orphan else mass statement this is likely because of an unnecessary semicolon placed just before the else keyword so you have to remove this key uh, semicolon here because you know this else block belongs to the if block so you should not keep any semicolon before that okay that is what the error is showing so we have removed that error and I'm just going to 
execute this again to see like what uh, what is the output of this particular um, particular code which we have added with an else part so what happened uh, if we are uh, if we enter any salary which is less than 5000 it will show throw the error and if we enter the salary uh, let us just save this and execute it and if we enter any salary which is equal to or greater than 10,000 then it will be saved and it will just display a message that good to go okay so let us try that so you can see here if I type 10,000 it will display a message good to go so what is the difference between the error and the message so error mess error means error procedure or error function or error method will show you a uh, error and it will not saved it will not be saved and until you give the correct input it will not proceed to the next like next level it will just show you the warning message it's the error message and if you just go with a message function it will just display this dialog box and once if you click ok it will just go away okay this is what the else part so if i enter bef below 10000 it will throw me the error and if i enter uh, 10000 or more it will not throw error so this is what the else part which i have told you so let us create an another field okay so uh, i'm just going to create a field and this let's go with an h and um so this is a block so i just wanted to create an application area is equal to all and i'm just always and i'm creating an on validate trigger so this is not an on validate let me just try start with the beginning begin and end so what i can do is what i can write the uh write the if block okay so if h is uh if h is less than 18 so i'm just writing trying to write the uh, thing with the and and block okay so here you can just go ahead with multiple if okay okay let me just go ahead with and okay so you have used an and so let let me just create i just want to show you like how the and will work okay uh, so let me just make it as total okay total and if total is uh, let me delete it I'm just want to show you the multiple if block okay if total is greater than 5000 okay 5000 then what you have to do then message you will uh, less than 5000 you will get 5% discount okay else if total is less than uh, mm, greater than 5000 and total less than 10000 then message you will get 10% discount okay so this is if else under that i have given an another else okay the same block i just want to rewrite it okay so else okay else if total is greater than 10000 and total is less than 15,000 you will get 5% discount 15% discount okay okay so that's it so here you can see that 
it's it will go uh, like it will validate your total okay so if it is less than 5000 you will get 5% discount if it is greater than 5000 but less than 10000 then you will get a 10% discount or else you will get 15% discount so let me just save this okay i didn't do anything with the age so i just want to delete this age here to save this and execute this code uh, let us see what is the output here it's coming up so uh, if you give 5000 how much discount it is showing um it is less than 5000 and 4000 if i give 4000 what is the discount if i give 5000 what is the discount if i give 15000 what is the discount so let's see that total um 4000 okay 4000 I'll get 5% discount if I type 10,000 I'll get okay greater than so 9000 so i'll get 10000 discount okay so this is what uh, how you can uh, write the nested if with the and operator that is like logical operator you can have multiple statement like this with the logical operator and or not and then you can write it okay so this is all about simple if then if then else and nested if statement so next video i'll show you the demo for switch okay you will understand it better thank you take care bye bye